Good evening. First tonight, an odd job man has been found guilty of raping and then murdering his elderly neighbour. Jane Hings was smothered with a pillow in her bedroom at Fletney in Leicestershire. Craig Keogh was caught within days because of advances in DNA technology. Now a unique forensic service has been set up here in the East Midlands to catch criminals even more quickly. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Bull reports. The 26-year-old killer and his 72-year-old victim, Jane Hings, was frail, an easy target. Keo used to walk her dogs, and detectives say he knew she didn't lock her door at night. Keo started the night in the pub with his friends where he was caught on CCTV. Fueled by drink and cocaine, he committed a crime that horrified their neighbours. Despicable. It was just sickening, just really sickening, and it really unnerved me. I was disgusted. I was glad when they caught him. It shook me. The police were called after Jane's body was found by her carers, but her wedding ring was missing. Keo had stolen jewellery worth over a thousand pounds. He took it to a pawn shop in a bin liner and dined out on the money he made. It is a horrible crime. This is a lady at home asleep in her bed that, that someone has walked in and, and done this. Sa savage act. His actions afterwards were disgraceful. He went and bought drinks and meals for his friends in the local pub using the money that he, he'd spent from, uh, that, that he got from selling this jewellery. This was found on Jane. Detectives yeah. soon identified Keo because his baseball Jane. cap and, and this tongue piercing were found on Jane's bed. This was all recovered after he sold it. They also found his DNA on Jane's stolen rings and neck chain. Another new forensic technique showed that he smothered her with her own pillowcase. DNA work on this was remarkable because his DNA came back on that tongue bar within 24 hours of it being submitted. From the baseball cap that came back the next day, we knew then that Craig was linked to this crime scene. Forensic experts found a DNA match so quickly because Keo was already on their database after a previous conviction. And now this new lab is helping detectives get even faster results. It's where police investigators from across the East Midlands have started working side by side with scientists from a specialist forensics company. It means they don't need to send evidence away or wait for the results to come back. And they say that's groundbreaking. It's making a huge difference. The gloves are off in terms of time scales. We're really able to say we need this doing more urgently than something else. So by identifying a suspect in a case very early on, we're able to target them, remove them from the streets, and therefore protect and safeguard the communities that we serve. Right, don't move, mate. What's your name? Craig, stay there. Come out. Craig Keogh was arrested Craig. at his caravan right, just round the back. corner from where he ended Jane's life so brutally a murder solved by forensic science in only two days. Jeremy Ball, BBC East Midlands Today.